In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely pop the base of your neck. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I'm going to go over some easy stretching exercises that may end in a satisfying self pop, crack, or release in the base of the neck. This first one is going to be called the upper trapezius release. We're going to focus on a muscle that runs at the top of the shoulder into the side of the neck. When it gets really tight, it can lock that whole area up. So if we can release that, you might get that pop. So this one can be done standing or seated. I'm gonna show it in two different variations. Each variation hits it a little bit different. This first one, let's say I have a lot going on on my right side at the base of the neck. It just feels really locked up. What I'm going to do is have very good upright posture. Take the arm on that side, bend it at 90 degrees, slide it across your lower back as much as you can until you feel that muscle right up here start to activate. From here, what I'm going to do is take the ear on the other side towards the other side shoulder. So in this case, if it's my right side, I'm tilting my head towards my left. I like to take my hand too and just grip the side of my head to passively stretch into it just a little bit more. And if it is locked up, you might get a sudden pop in there. But go for a deep, comfortable stretch. Do not try to force this. You want to hold this stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. You're going to relax on the next repetition. Build into it just a little bit more. I try to do that for about three to five times. And I do recommend doing this on both sides to keep them in balance. The second variation is very similar. What I'm going to do is shrug my shoulder up on the side of pain. So again, I'm having right-sided pain. I'm going to shrug that right shoulder up towards my ear as much as I can until I feel that muscle start to activate. From here, what I'm going to do is take my head towards the other side, similar to what we did with the first variation. Go over as far as you can. Once you feel a deep, comfortable stretch, what we're going to do to take this one to the next level is then lower the shoulder down, almost like I'm trying to pick something up off the floor with my hand. You'll feel a very deep stretch. And again, if it's locked up, you might get that sudden release that you're looking for. Comfortable stretch for 15 to 20 seconds. You're just going to relax on the next repetition. Build into it just a little bit more. And again, try to do that on both sides. So this method is really good if you deal with a lot of muscle tightness, including muscle spasms, trigger points, and muscle knots that might be locking up the base of the neck. I'm going to be using a tennis ball for this, but you can pretty much use anything that is round and soft. You can use a dog toy. If you don't have any of those, roll up several socks into a ball. You're going to go next to the edge of a wall or a door frame, and you're going to place the tennis ball right here, right over the side of the neck, right at the base. So kind of at the top of the shoulder, off to the side of the base of the neck. And then from there, you're going to lie on your back and then scoop backward and press your body into that tennis ball into the door frame or the wall. What you wanna do is really make contact with that muscle tightness at the base of the neck. Once you feel a good self massage going, what you're going to do is take your ear towards the other side. When you do this, it'll help open up the neck and it will help intensify that self massage over the ball. It can become very sensitive, so only go to your comfort level. What I'd like to do is then hook the side of my head with my hand right here and then passively pull over just a little bit and then press a little bit more into the wall. This will help release that trapezius muscle. And again, you might get a sudden pop or release into the base of the neck. Don't try to force anything. We're only going for a comfortable stretch. Hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds. And with this one, I like to do just nice, slow, controlled breathing also. Let that tension out as much as possible. You'll get better results. From there, you're just going to relax. If you feel like it is still locked up, what you can do to take this one to the next level is very similar to what we did with that first technique. So what I'm going to do is take my arm on the side that is touching the door frame right here, lift my bottom up, and then I'm going to slide my arm across my lower back until I feel that trapezius muscle up here start to activate. From there, what I'm going to do is press into the ball and then tilt my head. You'll notice that it just intensifies this stretch a little bit, and again, you might be able to get that release you're finally looking for. Try to do this one right here for about three to five repetitions and build into it with each repetition, and I do recommend doing this on both sides. So this is my go-to exercise when I really need to pinpoint the base of the neck. This one is especially good too for anybody that has a dreaded neck hump appearance or a kyphosis in the upper back. 
We can use one of three things, the first being a back pod. I bought this with my own money. I'm not promoting it or recommending it. All I can say is I use it daily, it works, and I really like it. The next being an extra large sports cup. If you actually look at the shape of the two, they're very similar. The drawback is, compared to the back pod, this is going to be quite hard, so you're going to want to throw pillows, towels over it for a little bit extra comfort. If you want a very cost-effective means to be able to do this, use a large can of soup. I prefer the Tasty Beef Barley variety. You can use any flavor you like. Again, with this one, you're going to want to use towels or a pillow for a little bit extra comfort, and make sure to put it vertical when you do it to pinpoint that spot right at the base of the neck. So in terms of efficiency, good, it works, you get what you pay for. So let's start by getting into position. I like to do this one lying flat on my back on a floor, but if you do have a lot of sensitivity, you may find that starting off in bed because it'll offer a little bit more cushion will be better for you. But I'm going to position my back pod or whatever you're using pretty much right at the top of the upper back. And I really wanna focus on that spot right at the base of the neck. Take two fingers and just kind of roll right at the base of the neck. You'll find one big bump right there. We really wanna focus on having this over that spot too. So we're also going to hit the bottom cervical segments. You just wanna relax into this as much as you can. Let your head go down, let your shoulder blades go down, and also the shoulders. I like to start with a little bit of a warm up. It will make this a little bit more efficient. So I just put my hands together like this, reach up towards the ceiling, and then bring them down like this really focusing on trying to pinch my shoulder blades as much as I can. This will help open up the chest and also loosen up the upper back. Hold this for a couple seconds, relax, repeat this one up to 10 times. With each repetition, build into it just a little bit more. So now we're going to focus on our self-release techniques. For this one, I'm going to reach my hands upward towards the ceiling as much as I can, keeping my arms straight, arms roughly shoulder width apart. And then I'm going to slowly bring them down while I'm reaching away from me as much as I can. The key with this is to build up as much tension as possible by bringing the back of your hands towards the floor. It should almost get to the point where you feel like it's going to pop or release. We want to stop right at that point. And now what we're going to do is a quick passive stretch to open it up. What I'm gonna do is just take my hands and then wing my arms downwards just like this towards the floor. It just quickly opens up that spot and again, you might get a sudden pop or release with it. Don't try to force these, do not go to the point of pain. What you want is just a nice, comfortable stretch. And I try to do this for about five times. From there, what I'm going to do is a different way to open it up just a little bit differently. So take your hands, put them on the back of your head like this. What I'm going to do from here is try to push down with my head as much as I can, and then I'm going to wing my elbows downward towards the floor until I feel a very good amount of tension, again, being built over that area. The key is always build up as much tension beforehand. Once you feel the chest start to activate, those shoulder blades start to pinch, what I'm going to do from there, again, is a passive movement. So I'm just going to quickly press down with my head and then wing my elbows down at the same time. I don't know if you heard it over the microphone, but I got a very good release right there. But again, we're just going to go for a very gentle stretch, not force anything. And if it's locked up, you might get that sudden pop or release that you're looking for. From there, you can switch the back pod or the athletic cup, whatever you're using over different spots of the upper and middle back to target those also. So for this next one, we can use one of two things. The first being a rolling desk chair, or you can use a foam roller. I like to use the foam roller. It's a little bit easier to do. Usually gives me better results. I'm going to be using a standard 24 inch high density foam roller. If you would like to get one, I'll leave a link in this video's description for this exact one. So I'm going to start off on a floor and I'm going to do a movement that is very similar to a popular yoga pose called the child's pose. I like to grip my fingers into this foam roller right here. My arms are going to be locked straight at my elbow. They're roughly shoulder width apart. Let's tuck our chin towards our chest. What you're going to do is roll this out until you feel a very good stretch forming at the base of the neck and also into the top of the upper back. From there, I'm going to tuck my chin towards my chest and then lower my butt downward towards my heels. Keep building into this until you feel a very good amount of tension at the base of the neck. 
This one we want to build up as much tension right here as possible. From here what I'm going to do is then take my chest downward towards the floor to build that tension up even more. Once we feel like it's on the verge of almost wanting to pop, what I'm going to do to take this one to the next level is take my, the top of my head upward towards the ceiling very, very quickly. So just like that. And I don't know if you just heard it over the microphone, but it just actually released quite well. The key with this one again is to build up as much tension in that area as you can and then go upwards with the back of your head. It's all about that initial tension. But what I'd like to do is just repeat this one for about five times. It's just going to help build range of motion in there. Again, don't try to force anything. It's all about just getting a nice comfortable stretch. You can also take this one to the next level by then tilting your body just a little bit towards one direction and then repeating. So go all the way towards the right, go all the way towards the left. If any of those hit that spot just a little bit more, give you more relief, throw some more repetitions in. So with this exercise, we're going to focus more on pulling motions known as traction or decompression to help open up the neck and maybe get that pop or release that we're looking for. This one usually feels really, really good and you can pretty much do it anywhere, standing or seated. So let's have very good upright posture. What I'm going to do is take one hand and I'm going to take the webbing right here between the thumb and put it right on my jaw. If you do have a lot of jaw issues, you can go a little bit above and stay off of it. But what I want to do is an initial head retraction. That is bringing the head backward like this as much as I can. So we're not kind of leaning back into it, but just bringing it straight back. You should start to feel a very good activation of those neck muscles. Once we feel that, we're going to take the hand on the other side and then hook the back of the head right here. And the motion is very simple. We're going to press, hook, and then pull forward at the same time. When you do this, you're going to feel a really good pulling motion throughout the whole neck. Really focus on feeling it into the base of the neck. And if it is locked up, you might get that sudden pop or release that you are looking for, but we're only going for a comfortable stretch. I like to hold this one for about 15 to 20 seconds. I'm going to relax and then repeat it three to five times. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. You can take this one to the next level too, instead of by going straight with it, tilt your head or your chin in one direction, kind of like looking over your shoulder and then repeat this. You're gonna notice that it helps open up the neck just a little bit differently. And you might find that it gives you more relief. So experiment with going in different directions. If any of those help you out a little bit more, throw more repetitions in. I also like to blend in uh, another exercise called the armpit sniffer for good reason, because it hits the neck just a little bit differently. Again, this one you can do standing or seated. This one, what we're going to do is look over one shoulder as much as we can until we feel the muscles in the side of the neck right here start to activate. From there, I'm going to take my hand, hook the back of my head, take my chin downward towards that armpit. You're really going to feel a very good stretch into a muscle called the levator scapula. It runs right off the side of the neck into the base of the neck, I should say. And it feels, again, very good. Hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds, relax, build into it on the next repetition. Try to do that for about three to five times and do that on both sides to keep them in balance. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.